there and welcome to another Miniguard 951 tutorial and today I'll be making a, a 3D model of a man smoking a cigarette uh, it's pretty easy to make it's not not that um, round it's quite a square model so you should be able to follow along with this pretty easy so from here you want to place two brown then the gap of two and then two brown and you want it to go back so it's free long. Let's take out my guider. Right, so free long. No, make that four long, I would have said. Make four long. These are his feet. Then from here we'll get blue. I quite like blue for trousers, don't ask me why. <laughs> right, so up, across. So if you follow what I'm doing, so you end up with a pattern that looks like that for the minute. Right, and then from here, you go two back, and then go two up, like that for now, and do the same here. So it covers the uh, covers the sides like that. Then from there, you can bring these two up an extra one, like so, and then you could just fill in the back, like this. So that would be the bottom bit and then you can just fill in the sides you should end up with something that looks like that looks pretty cool right now what we do is we do his top shall we we'll go to the front on these blocks here you want to place your grey and we've got some yellow here and then uh, let's do his shirt we'll do it a purple I think let's do a nice purple so you want to bring out the middle two blocks here and here leaving the yellows blank at the edge and then on the, that you want to put your purple you bring this up we'll just do it to there to now and then we'll continue with the rest of his jacket so you get the gray wall and you want to count up four from this block one two three four same with this so it's five in total one two three four five see so that that's your pattern and then you can bring your purple up to the same level as your your gray so you end up with something that looks a bit like that as you can see it's pretty pretty simple it shouldn't be too hard to follow so we come around the back get the gray out on the oh, this bit here needs to be filled in blue Right, so find your two middle blocks like you did with the front, bring them out. And then the next row would be a row of four on top, so it goes up like that. And the next row would be a row of six on top of that. Like so, and then you bring this up two. So you end up with a pattern like that for the back. Then you go on to the inside and do a little L, like that. And the same with the other side, backwards one. And the sides now you could really just fill in. We'll put the arms on it in a minute. So if you just fill it all in up to the top, roughly about the same height. Right, so from here you want to go one, two, three, four. So it's missing out the back here and missing out one at the front. That would be the position for your arm. We do the exact same the other side. Like that. And then from there you want to come out one and down one, like that. So you end up with like a, a zigzag pattern, the same with the other one. Out two, one, like that, and then down one. You see his arms are starting to take shape now. All you want to do from there is come to this this corner block here, and this will be the basis for your actual bulky bit of the hand so if you do that there do the same again find this corner block go two out two next to it and like underneath so you end up with like a, a square as you can see just like that and then from there you want to get your uh, skin material I always like using sandstone or sand if I can get away with it so we just do this and this will be his hand you want to do another square so it looks like that 
do the exact same again, cut out these corner ones to be the start of your hand. If you wanted you could do it something like that, give his hand a bit more effect. Oh hang on, we need grey on this one first. <laughs> so from this block here I think it was. Uh, it was it was this block here. I think I've done this one slightly wrong, so we'll redo this again. So from here you want to go two out, two across, and two down. So it's not as far back, same thing again, cut out the corner, do your two by two, and then another two by two, and that'll be your hand. That's better, they're both at the same same distance now. As I said, if you just do that, you can make like the clam hands like I showed you in my previous tutorial. Gives the hands a bit more effect. So from there, we'll start doing the top half of him. You want to go up to this grey here and place pink, well, purple, all the way to there. Then you miss out this corner block and then you place it all the way to one at the end. So it misses there and then back at the front here. That'd be like his collar. Alright, now for the face. So from here you want to come out one, delete that one, and then follow this all the way around like that. So you end up with like a U pattern. Right, so from there, we'll do his fag and that last actually. The next one you want to go up and out. Oh, like so. So you end up with like a pattern like this. Okay, now from here we can do the eyes. We go two black here, two black here, and there'll be his eyebrows. And then uh, we could do him with blue eyes, I think, for now. So you end up with a pattern like that, and then you just fill in this bit all the way over his eyebrows. Too high, I think it is going to be. Right, so you've done that bit, and that is just like the start of his face. Um, you could do his fag now if you want. You just get some white, come down here, and do that. And there's a little cigarette sticking out of his mouth. So now you've done that, you come round to the sides. And then from here you want to do a little L. So it looks like that at the bottom, same with the other one, in one and then out one. So you end up with a pattern that looks like that. Then you bring this, this one up to one above your eyebrows, so it looks like that. And the same with the other side, so it finishes here. One, two, three blocks, like so. And we're getting there, we're getting there. Right, so now for the side of the face, from here you want to go four blocks, one, two, three, four. So you end up on the edge of the purple, same with this one, one, two, three, so it ends up on the purple. And then from here you want to bring this bit out and this will be where your ear is. And then you could just fill this bit in to there, like so. Same with the other side, fill that block in, then bring this bit a layer out of four by uh, two by two squares for his ears. Right, and that is pretty much the shape of him done. Now we're just gonna do the hair. We're gonna use some light blue for this one. So if we come to the front of his head, and you wanna end up with a pattern that looks similar to this. Up two in one, then up two in the middle, so it give his hair a, like a spike sort of look. That would be the front bit there. If you go to the sides, this bit goes all the way up and meets to the same as the other bit. Then you leave a, a spot and then up one. And then from here, it's out one and then down one like that. And this should finish just behind his ear. Like that. And then this bit here you can just fill in with the remainder of your light blue. So 
that's the side of his head. You do the exact same on the other other sides. Bring this bit all the way up to the, the top of the light blue. Down one and then up one and out and then down diagonal. So it finishes just behind the ear, like so. And then this bit as like the other side, just fill it in. Like that. As we go, we get in there. So you can then come to the back and at these uh, purples do a light blue diagonal here and here. Then you can th bring this a layer out, fill this in so it meets one the blue either side. Then you can go up one and out one, up one and out out one there. Okay, then this bit will go all the way up to the blue again, the top of the blue. So you end up with something that looks similar to that. And then from the blue pattern you want to go in, in, up, up. And then in, in, up, up. So you end up with a pattern that looks like that. You just fill in this bit of layer outwards. So it's uh, light blue all the way, all the way. Doo -doo. Like that. So you end up with that. And then now we've just got to do the top bits of his head. So diagonal here, diagonal here, and the same with the other side. From the back corners near enough. So you end up with a pattern like that. And the rest of this is now just filling in is his head. So this bottom row here, you can, in theory, just fill this bit in and then add the spikes on top of it. But it's totally up to you how you want to design his hair. So you do something like that. And then from here, you just go two, miss a gap, two, and then the rest will just be single, single blocks for the spikes. As you see, it gives him like his hair a, a sort of spiky effect. And there we go. There's one 3D model smoking a cigarette. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. You leave a like, a comment. Don't forget to tell your friends. Or check out my other tutorials. Take care. Goodbye.